Hey guys, Roth here. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a halftone image in Photoshop for screen printing. Now to start, let's take a look at what exactly is a halftone image. And so over here I have two images. I have on top here is a grayscale image and on bottom I have my halftone image. Now if we zoom in we can kind of see the grayscale image is made up of pixels so it's just a black and white picture just like normal um, and there's nothing really beyond that that's too unique about it but if we go into our halftone image and zoom in we're gonna notice that instead of I mean obviously it's gonna have pixels but it actually is made up of a whole bunch of little dots and these little dots are just solid black dots and depending on how close they are to each other will make the image halftone or not and so if we zoom out again we are going to make this halftone image in Photoshop and the reason that this is important is because if I wanted to make an image like this on a t-shirt and screen print it, it has to have these dots because with spot color process we can't mix these colors and make all of these gradients like we have on here so that fade where it goes from like kind of darker to lighter and stuff that's not going to work with screen printing unless we make it halftone. So in order to do that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose an image and so we're going to go ahead search for an image and I would recommend that you go to tools and change the size to larger than four megapixels this way you know you're going to get a high quality image that's going to work and so we'll find our image we'll click view image and then we're going to go ahead and right click and you're going to choose copy image and then we're ready to go into Photoshop and create a new file so I'll go to file new and then the nice thing is since I copied my image before I created the new file is I can already just choose the setting that says clipboard the only thing I have to change is I have to change my resolution to 300 All right. so wherever it says resolution change that to 300 you can choose clipboard and then go ahead and click create now it's created this artboard for me and if I go to edit paste I can actually see my image and it's going to be perfect sized it's going to be the full blown image and I'm ready to go ahead and go through the steps to actually make this a halftone image and so the first step you're going to do is you're going to go to image up here at the top and you're going to go to mode and you choose grayscale alright you're going to let it go ahead and flatten the image it's just going to merge everything down but it's going to make it so it's in grayscale now with this image and with some other images sometimes it is useful to go ahead and go into our adjustments layer next and actually kind of darken up the darks and lighten up the lights so that when we make the halftone image we have some good contrast and so I'm gonna click on levels here to do that and in order to do that all you have to do is you have to bring the far end here it's, that's darkening up my darks and if I bring my lights this way it's gonna lighten those up and then I usually kinda of bring my middle guy over so that the middle values don't get just left in the dust now once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select both of these layers. So you can just click on one and hold down Control or Command, uh, depending on if you're Mac or PC, and then you can select both layers. Then you're going to go ahead and go back up to Image, and then go to Mode as well, but you're going to go ahead and choose Bitmap this time. All right, it's going to ask to flatten the layers, you're going to click OK. Now when we get to Bitmap, we want to make sure that our image is going to match our output matches our input and so if the input is 300 my output needs to be 300 we also need to make sure here that it, we're on the half tone screen so if those both are check out then we're going to click OK and we're going to get some more options now depending on the mesh count of your screen you're going to change your frequency with the screens we're going to be using we're going to go ahead and use a 35 mesh count that's going to be for a screen that's like about 160 uh, mesh which is a little bit wide open for a uh, half tone but we're, it'll work and so we'll go 35 frequency our angle needs to be at 22.5 and then our shape needs to be round we'll go ahead and click OK and you can see Kawhi is now half toned a lot of our people in the background kind of are lifeless now but our foreground in this image here it looks pretty good alright so once we have that ready we're ready to go ahead and save this and we can print it off onto a transparency and we can then go ahead and print it onto a shirt or whatever we want to print it onto. 
say you wanted to add some words to it, maybe on top above it you wanted to say the claw or something, I don't know. Then what you would do is you'd go ahead and save it just like normal. Um, we need to just have that saved, so we'll do Kawaii, save that. <clears throat> and then I typically still like going into Photoshop in order to do this, and so we'll go into our Illustrator. So go into Illustrator, make a new file. And this time I'm going to make it the size of my transparency. And so typically we're either going to use letter or tabloid for that, and so I'm going to use tabloid for it. And it's going to create our new image. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to wherever we saved that image. So I saved Kawhi here. And I'm just going to drag that onto my file here. And now I have that. And so it's ready to, to print if I wanted. But since I want to add some words, I'm going to go ahead and use my text tool. And I'm going to add the, some words and I'll do the claw. that's his nickname and then we can go to character make the text bigger or whatnot but that is what we're going to do in order to make a halftone image um, and now you are ready to print it alright now if you wanted to do an image with multiple colors that is gonna take a few different steps but if we're just doing a black and white halftone image we could print this off onto a transparency make our screen and there you have it all right hope this made sense have a good day okay bye why are you still watching you shouldn't be watching still you should be doing this go make it make your halftone image <laughs>